hi viewers we want to look at the topic trigonometry now when we say trigonometry is a branch of mathematics used to find angles and length of the side of triangles today we want to focus on trigonometrical ratios where we'll be looking at sine cosine and tangent but before we look at these ratios let us come to these right angle triangles and study something about them viewers first of all let us look at this now we can see line bc line bc is facing this 90 degrees symbol and we call it hypotenuse so we have what we call hypotenuse all right now let us focus on this angle now don't forget now we move from the right angle sign and now we are focusing on this theta now now this theta here we have line ac which is facing this theta and we call the line opposite so that is what we call opposite all right then we have line ab which is beneath this angle or is under the angle and we call it adjacent adjacent now viewers let us also look at this triangle now we move the angle from the base here to the top here so automatically the naming will change let's see how it can be done now we have line bc and that one all the time it faces the 90 degrees and it's called hypotenuse so still the hypotenuse will not change all right so we have hypotenuse but we can see ab our ab here is under this angle and we call it adjacent but here our ab is facing the angle so it will now become opposite all right then we have ac line ac which is under this angle and now it will be called adjacent all right viewers now that we learn how to label the parts of the right angle triangle let us look at this now now with our ratio we have sine all right and normally in calculation we shorten it to sin or how we can call it we also have cosine and in our calculations we shorten it to cos and we have tangent and in our calculation we shorten it to what tan viewers let's take them one by one and relate them to the right angle triangle so first of all we take our sign and anytime we write our sine ratio what must come in front or what must follow should be the angle all the time don't forget so we say sine theta equal to opposite so it takes opposite so we say opposite all right all over what hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse and in short we say so so this is a short form that will also help you to remember so when we say so then you respond sine theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse now let us take our course so cos then we bring our angle so cos theta it takes adjacent and hypotenuse but we write them in a ratio form so we have adjacent divided by our hypotenuse our hypotenuse and in short we name it ka so when we say ka then you respond cos theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse again we have our tan so we say tan theta which also take opposite all right opposite all over what adjacent opposite all over what adjacent and in short we say toi so again when we say toi then you respond tan theta equal to opposite over what adjacent viewers this is how we can relate our trig ratios to the right angle triangle in our next video we are going to learn how to apply them to solve questions thank you hi viewers 
in our case two, we learn how we can use our trig ratios to find the angles within the right angle triangle. But in this case three, we are going to learn how to find the length of the side of the right angle triangle. Now, let us look at this question where we have been asked to find x. Now, x to this right angle triangle is adjacent, all right? So, I'll take my adjacent into consideration, which is what the x. Again, the 4 that is given to us is opposite to the angle, so I'll take opposite into consideration, which is 4 centimeters. Now, with my ratios, I have to check which one is having A and O. And A and O, I can find it in the tan ratio. Therefore, I'm going to use my tan ratio. Let's see how we can do it. So, I'll write my tan. The angle here is theta, but the angle given in the question is 70. So, we say tan 70 equal to opposite over adjacent. And our opposite is going to be 4. And adjacent is going to be x. Viewers, I'm looking for x. So, I'm going to perform cross multiplication. Where this will multiply this. So, I have x tan 70 equal to 4. Divide both sides by tan 70. This side by tan 70. This will cancel this. And to two decimal place, I'm going to have 1.46 centimeters. So this is how I can use my ratio to find x. Use the same approach to answer the following questions and leave your answer in the comment section. Time high viewers. The trigonometrical ratios that we study, we want to see how we can use it to answer these questions on the board. Let us look at this one. Now, I've been asked to find theta here. First of all, the question is, what ratio am I going to use? It's simple. Now, we take the side of the right angle triangle given to us into consideration. In this case, we have the 6 here which is the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is given. We also have our five here, which is adjacent to this angle. So adjacent is given. Then with the ratios that we study, the Sokat one, all right? We have, you, you look into it, which one is having H and A, and H and A will define our cost ratio, all right? So let's see how we can fix the values into this cost ratio so first of all we write our cost then followed by the angle which means adjacent over hypotenuse so our adjacent is five and hypotenuse is six so at this level we are going to find our theta here and how can we do that we are going to find cos inverse of both sides of the equation if this tan we find tan inverse if the sign, we find sine inverse. So let's see how we can do that. So we see theta equal to cos inverse of 5 divided by 6. And our theta will be equal to 33.56 degrees. Viewers, use the same approach to answer these ones and leave your answer in the comment section. Thank you.